All right, welcome back. So now the next step is to actually upload this code. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload um, code that prints out the GPS data. And then in a second step, I'm going to do the, um, the actual insert into the database because I, I, I want to go through how we can set up a Postgres database. So all of this stuff here, I'm going to comment out. Um, this is basically the inserting into a database. Uh, and I'm just going to upload this code. And again, I'm going to put this in the comments so you guys can copy it. But basically what I have, I have a little function here that converts um, to, deg to degrees. Um, because the way that we, we extract it out of the EXIF data, it's not in degrees. And we want to just uh, convert it to, to decimal degrees like latitude and longitude. Um, and then this is our main function. It's called processor. So I'm going to have to upload or update that configuration. Um, but what it's doing, we're just printing the bucket, the key, the event. And then here we're, um, we're basically retrieving that object. So S3 dot get object. So this is Bodo three we're using here. So you see, we have an import for Bodo three. So we're saying get this object and then we're giving it the bucket which comes from that event that I showed you guys earlier and then the key which also comes from the event. And this is going to allow us to actually crack that image open and look at it with pillow. Um, so you see what we're doing here. Um, pill image equals image.open and then we're just opening this, this file. And then basically there's a bunch of code down here that um, helps us get the latitude and longitude and these are for um, like uh, what hemisphere it's in so western or eastern or north or south um, so again I, I made a video on this that was much more detailed and, and focused on the, the actual Python code but uh, this video is more on how we can just deploy it and get it working with Lambda so I'm not going to go over all that. So why don't we just upload this code that we have here, uh, this image processor.py. So this time I'm going to delete the old package we made and I'm going to zip up um, all the modules again, image processor and six, and just I'm not going to do simple Lambda this time. So if I send this to a zip file, Um, just rename this something else. Now if I go to Lambda, upload a zip file, oh wait, did I actually print anything out? <laughs> so I actually I want to print something out. So let's print out because right now all it's all it's going to return is bucket S3 key and event, but I actually want to print out the Latin long just so we see that it works. Okay, and this I'm just rounding it to um, six decimal places. That's what this round function does, because it was too long otherwise. Um, I guess I can just show you what. So you see, I have commented out here. I have it referencing a local file instead of an S3 file. So if I just comment all this out. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to mimic an image, uh, an event from a local image just to show you what it looks like. So we want the processor, so we need to call that function. Okay, so if I run this, we should get some information back. Why is this not working? I feel like it might have to do with 
the modules on Windows. It's probably because we have these files in this directory. So let me just try this. Okay, there we go. So you, you see, we have the, the longitude and latitude printed. So what, what was happening was, when I set this from pill import, it was actually looking in this in this directory for that package, and it found it. It found that um, this um, import, but if you remember, all of these came from that um, the package that we built on Linux. So there were some problems with it not working. On, on a Windows machine. Um, but you can see here this code is just simply getting the lat and long and then um, down here we're just inserting that into a database. Um, but what I want to do first is just upload it to S3 and make sure that we get the lat and long um, from from Lambda when we upload an image. So I'll keep those print statements in there. And then we're going to comment this out because that's just for testing. All right. Okay, this looks good. So we actually have to copy all this stuff back out to this directory. And get rid of the old package. And now zip everything up here except for simple lambda and that file because that's from that's a file that's from my IDE. Uh, what is that? That was weird. Let me try that again. Oh, maybe it's probably because I had that weird temp. Let me get rid of this. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, so let's name this Python package. And take note of the function or the file name. So we call it an image processor, and we actually call the function processor. So we need to update. Uh, so after first, let's upload the file, and then we're going to have to change the handler. All right. So we need to edit this here. And remember, this is the file name, so I forget what I called it, uh, image processor. And then the function is just called processor. All right. Yep. All right. OK, so it's deployed. Now let's just test it. So. Upload another image. Go back to Lambda and then let's look at the logs. Alright, so we're looking for something that's 35, so there it is. Okay, so here we go. We have it printing the bucket the key, the event, and then the longitude, latitude. So this is confirmation that um, our upload worked, our, um, our pillow import worked, and these functions, all these functions worked. So um, 
the next thing we're going to do is uh, the actual insert into a database. Um, so we're going to cover that in the next video because I think this video is getting a little long. But um, just stick with me and we will, uh, in the next video, actually insert this into a database. And, and that's where the cool stuff uh, comes into play. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.